Isn't that adorable? She can't read the words, so she's just making them up. That's our little witch. Susie, that's enough magic for tonight, dear. Your father and I have some wonderful news to tell you. Get this, my sweet. Soon you'll have a new brother or sister to play with among the Heathers. <gasps> we shall be a real family. No more shall your father and I wander the globe on our adventures, but rather live forever henceforth... <laughs> Among the windswept moors of England. Oh, joy! There's a big rock. Fly over the big rock, Mildred. Give us all you've got. <laughs> Mildred! Uh-oh, rogue toddler. I'm the older sister, and Mildred is already out doing me at flying. Oh, Susie, most people have to build up their magic, but some people are born with so much magic inside of them that it overflows and they end up making things they didn't even intend to. But what if I'm not ready in time for my gibbous right ceremony? Oh, that's not until your 15th birthday. You'll be smashing, and then you'll be the most magical mage of the moors. Don't you ever wish you could live in the big city? I suppose you'd have us being little hot corn girls selling hot cobs of corn to passers-by on the busy street? Oh, yes. Let's! Come and buy my sweet hot corn. Nibble, 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 oh, sweet hot corn, oh. I have no desire to go to the city. I want to take my rightful place as the most magical mage of the moors. <sighs> Sounds predictable. Like living on a desert island. Mildred, stop! People don't want to wake up every morning wondering what it's going to rain today. The sages of the frozen north are said to have a special oil that can help Mildred channel her overactive magical glands. But you swore your exploring days were over. You, you have to be here or, or I can't do my gibbous right. Oh, honey, we'll be back in time. No, promise us you won't tell Mildred we're going away because of her. That's our secret. And as leader of the household and your sister's guardian, you must keep it forever. I promise. Bye. Goodbye! We love you! We love you. I'll Don't be nice be to Grandma! Grandma. Grandma. We'll be back Bye. soon! Bye. 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 My dad will miss you! I can't stand kids. No off to bed with you, you little snots! What? No, 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 no! You snot sleep in the barn! You know what? Let's go find Mum and Dad. I bet if we leave now, we can still catch their boat. Yeah! Um, excuse me, sir? Oh. Ma'am, could you tell me we could get tickets to the frozen north? We're trying to find our parents, but we missed their boat. Ah! Ow. You okay, Susie? Yeah. <laughs> what do we do now? We can't go back to Granny's. <sighs> Whatever we do, we can't stay here. This place could be... dangerous. I know what you girls need. Uh, hot corn! Oh, uh, no, no thanks. We're not really hungry. Not to eat, silly, to sell. Oh, well, yeah, I don't think... Hot corn! Get it while it's hot! It is early morn at Miss Mary's boarding house for hot corn girls. Today is very special, Susie's 15th birthday. So Susie seeks from neath the sheets a box she's hidden away. If you don't mind. OK, I'll just stand here. This box is packed with irreplaceable family heirlooms. The ritual chalice, dodo feather, witch grease, and especially the heather brooch. With these, when mum and dad get here, Everything will be ready for me to become the most magical mage. Then we're all going to return to the lovely moors and live happily ever after. Our dearest Susie, we can't wait to see you and Mildred in your London digs. Your folks are slogging along with Mildred's potion in tow and we'll be back in time to perform your gibbous rite. We're so proud of you, Suze. Love, Mum. And Papa Wappa. Where are those witch girls who ignore you like you're a nobody? My goodness, where are our manners? Happy birthday, uh... Susie. Her name is Susie. 
and the next time you see her, she'll be a full-fledged witch. She'll have her give us right later today. Mildred, shut! I absolutely have her gift for you. We just bought this from the shops. Everyone who's anyone is doing it. Wait, what are you doing? You can't actually give her that. It's dangerous. Hush up. It's going to be funny. Take it. Immortality potion. Hey, uh, no thanks. I mean, I probably shouldn't take it on an empty stomach. Well, lucky for you, you've got plenty of hot corn. <laughs> <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Get us! Susie, Ivy, I've got a letter for you. Ooh, it must be from my parents. <gasps> Dear Susie, my name is William Rutherford. I was escorting your parents on their journey back to London, but we became separated and, and I'm not really sure where they are now. I mean, I'm sure they're fine, but, well, let me know if you hear from them, okay? Yours sincerely, William Rutherford. They'll be okay, I think. Why does the stupid give us right have to happen on my birthday? <laughs> what am I going to do if my parents aren't here to perform it? I'm going to be a baby witch forever. What? What if... Stunts all forms of growth. Well, if it was always my 15th birthday, then I could just wait till Mum and Pop get back. Whenever that is. Down the hatch! <laughs> Sorry about that. That wasn't supposed to happen. What are you doing? You're ruining all my things! Get off! Get off! Sorry. Jeez, I just wanted to help you get ready. Here, I'll put it all back. No, wait! Whoops. You! It wasn't my fault. It's always your fault! Don't be mean to me, Susie, or I'll tell Mum and Pop when they get back. They're not coming back. They might not ever come back because of you. If you could have ever just learned to be a pinch reserved, we'd all be in the moors right now. Instead, our parents are lost in the frozen north getting you a potion. You're an uncontrollable child witch, and I'm an immortal hot corn girl. What? Knock, knock. Everything okay up here? Here. Read it yourself. <gasps> all right, all right. Now that's enough of that. Now clean up this mess, Mildred, and you come with me. You don't need any of that stuff for a gibbous, right? Get with the times, girl. We've got everything we need right upstairs. Come on, I'll show you. And with this ritual chalice, I mean, with this uh, uh, candid man, we affirm the sacred will. And now, to complete the ritual, a star for my star. Bright, bold, and steadfast. A queen among ornaments. Uh, or witches. Either way, congratulations. You're a full witch woman, part of the history of witchcraft. Now and forever. Forever. Oh, do you know what? There's one more thing that would make this even more special. Come on. Great. So now Mildred is immortal too. Wait a minute there! Two? You're immortal? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Oh, you two are going to drive me crazy. It's not my fault. Why does everybody think everything is my fault? Oi! You better compose yourself, young lady. Uh, I am composed! You're hiding that little witch. <sighs> Miss Mary? Susie, the city is looking for Mildred. If anyone asks, don't tell them you're her sister. Some people are really mad at her right now. But Mildred is out there, all alone. Mildred's fine. You know she can hold her own. Come on, let's go back to bed. Susie, promise me you won't go out there. Promise. <clears throat> What are we doing? We're waiting for Susie to come apologise. Actually, she's probably getting pretty worried about me right now, wondering where I am. Mildred! Mildred! Ah! Oh, 
Mildred, 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 Mildred. Mildred? Now we're going to capture one hot corn twin, capture them both. Susie! Miss Mary! Get them! I'm going to apologise to her. Wait, what is that flyer? What's it say, Mildred? It says I'm a criminal. It says I should be locked up. It's OK. We can still go find Susie. We just can't be seen. Oh, that's perfect. I turn invisible when I'm anxious. Susie! Susie's gone. I have no one. You have me. Would you go to the frozen north with me? We'll find Mum and Pop there. They'll know what to do. Where am I going, Miss Mary? You're off to America. It'll be a fresh start. Will you send Mildred my way when you find her? Oh, don't worry. Hey, you, more hustle. Magical advisor to the mayor coming through. Mayor? Ah, Susie. With all due respect, Mr. Mayor, I'm here to issue a complaint. My friend Mallory used to work at the docks, but they've replaced her with a hydraulic crane. And what's up with that? Things like these hydraulic power doohickeys are cheaper than witches and more reliable. I need psychic advice pronto. Why are people forgetting about witches and why is everything bad today? Magic can sense it's unwelcome, so it's retreated. Okay, I'll just gather all the magical creatures in New York, put them on a boat and bring them to that spot. Geographica? Extractica. Ow! Be sparing with your magic. As magic retreats from the magical world, it'll retreat from all magical creatures. Be careful, Susie. There's no time to be careful. Hey, you! This is an emergency broadcast. We're all losing our powers. Meet me at 5 p.m. at the docks for an evacuation. Bring everything. I only have a little bit of magic left. I have to make this count. Arkham, evacuate him. Almost there. Just a couple of finishing touches. Perfect. Where is everyone? Are you okay? Am I too late? Uh, late for what? For the evacuation. Isn't this your boat? The Princess Susie? Cool. I must be married to a prince. No, you're a witch. A sandwich? Like pastrami on rye? Hey, what are you doing? Shush a bee. It's barely any magic left in you. I think making this boat taps you out. I gotta save the world! Surprise party? For me? I had no idea. Susie, you're a witch. Don't cry on my hair. Hey, are you guys here to witness magic disappear completely from the world? No, we're here to save it. This is where magic is retreating to. We have to get up there so I can reverse the flow of magic somehow. Oh, you mean the diamond? The source of all magic for the universe. My guess is there are too many Jabberwocks in frozen time. What? Jabberwocks. They're forces of the future. Too many of them in frozen time is bad news. You gotta balance them out with time, babies. A force of the present. But nobody knows how to make these cuties. So we gotta go destroy us some Jabberwocks. <laughs> we can crush Jabberwocks with my ghost burps. Hurry, there's significant stuff that happens in people's lives. Let's dredge up some memories while you hit me on the back. You got it, Susie. Your first kiss. Okay. This is gonna work. Come on. There's still too many. And this one's coming in hot. He's a doozy. Hit me with a deep cut. Uh, um, being born. Yeah. I think I need a time out. I'm not feeling so good. Ramona? Ramona! <laughs> Maybe we should just enjoy our last moments of being magical. Maybe you're right. 
We gave it our best shot. That's all we can do. All right. Now that's the spirit. Take it away, girls. We were witches. Our mitts never touched no dirty dishes. We were witches. Normals obeyed our every wishes. We got what we wanted. While you all just got haunted. And that is why I might just cry. Cause we're gonna miss it. When we were witches. Oh! Whoa, Nelly! Ooh, that's the biggest time, baby, I have ever seen. <laughs> How did you guys even do that? <laughs> uh, Bob? Look, the diamond, the source of all magic. It's sucking it all back in. Well, I'm not sure what's about to happen here, but it's pretty scary. What do you think about holding hands, buddy? Yeah, sure thing, pal. Bye, Ramona. Bye, Susie. Look, the diamond is stable. I think we did it. Susie, do you have any idea what just happened? Not a clue. The prophecy that magic will be saved by two best friends. That's what happened. <gasps> <coughs> or so I thought, but now I'm not sure. You must be immortal, right? Immortals can't exist in frozen time. Is she going to be OK? Don't worry, you'll be fine. As long as you never come back to frozen time. You can still help restore magic to the world, though. I thought we just did that? No, no, you just saved the island. The rest of the world still needs a lot of work. Here. <sighs> All the instructions you'll need are in this binder. I think so anyway. I've read the whole thing. I don't have a best friend, so it doesn't apply to me. Anyway, the fate of the magical world might depend on you too, so good luck. So for a few decades, they followed the binder's instructions. They called magical beings to the island, and they started a witch school. Are you working on progress reports? Sort of. I'm making magically imbued friendship bracelets. The magic is that they smell like peaches. Ooh. Oh, I love peaches. Attention, coven! All 13 witches report to the Yeti Meadow at 9 p.m. for important spell. This is it. 13 together. Reverse the weather. Blanket of white. Lift to a great height, fulfill the prophecy, and give magic hope by helping us open this manila envelope. not how you save magic. The one for whom time stands still must stay and live in the present. The one for whom time continues must live to stay present in frozen time. It means we have to split up. Beep, beep! It's Frozen Time Express. Fire boarding call for Ramona the Witch. <sighs> Take care of Jim Jams for me. <laughs> hey, here, use my arm. I was just about to call you. Look what I'm wearing. Aw, friendship bracelet. Still smells just like the day you gave it to me. <laughs> Peaches. So guess what? They got another prophecy. The last one said we were going to be two best friends who were going to save magic. And now we're always apart and the island is dying. I know. But right now we have to get new magic to the island. You see these dots? These are new magical creatures. You have to bring them to the island. Why? Those dots look perfectly happy in New York. Look, this one's seeing a show. Hey, what happened? Oh, that's their magic fading away. These new magical creatures don't know their magic. And no one's teaching them. This is the next generation. If they don't learn magic, it'll be lost forever. Ugh, who even cares about magic anymore? Nothing we do gets you out of frozen time. But what if I told you this will get me out of frozen time? What? How? No time to explain now. 
Just hurry and get those kids. Mirror of glass. Portal may pass. Magic map coming through. The Susie and Ramona show is coming back to town. Ramona said these creatures don't know that they're magic, so we got to get them to the island some other way. I just can't wait to get rid of Erasmus. Two whole months of peace. Divine. She leaves for camp tomorrow. Toot toot for camp. Oh, <gasps> Susie, I think we have it. I have it too. We'll start a snot-based ski resort. Oh, uh, no. We were thinking, uh, summer camp. Oh, sure. Okay. Huh? Summer camp for a precocious youth? Okay, we haven't got much time. You guys get the camp ready and I'll tell Ramona she can come back now. And the two of us will meet you at the beach. A letter from Ramona, probably about how excited she is to see me today. Go ahead and read. Dear Susie, I can feel the magic coming closer to the island and I know that it's thanks to you. I wish I could be there to enjoy it with you. Someday I will be, but today is not that day. I'm sorry for misleading you, but bringing the kids to the island was the only chance we had of saving magic. I hope someday you'll understand. <laughs> you'll be FF. Remove. <laughs> Betray me! Use me like a ding-dong pawn and call it friendship! I'll punch him your face! Stupid unbreakable magic mirror! <laughs> Bit of string don't mean a thing. Jim Jams, I'm going to work! Get this mess cleaned up by the time I get home. See ya. Miss you already. Bye. Okay, they're gone. If you thought you were going to a normal summer camp with canoeing and potholder making, you were sorely mistaken. This is a magical camp and you can do whatever you want here. Don't come crying to me with your dumb baby problems because I am not your mum. I'm the prettiest girl that ever talked to you. I especially don't want to hear from you. Mummy's special little guy.